What's up my little locals? Welcome back. I have had such a great weekend and it's still the weekend. I just wanted to share a little bit about my weekend, give you some updates on my apartment since I gave you my first initial tour of my apartment. I've changed quite a few things and I have some projects underway this weekend. So my weekend started off, I have had a list of specific items that I want to find for my apartment but if you know me at all you know I just don't like shopping for brand new items unless it's, it's things like a bed sometimes like couch furniture just because I mean no no judgment on anyone who likes used mattresses and things like that I just personally want something brand new that no one has slept on or sat much on um, so those are kind of the the items that I will get brand new and purchase brand new But other than that I find a thrill in finding used things not only is it more cost-friendly Obviously, but it is just so much fun to me to find old vintage things and breathe new life into them and let them still have their moment of glory so when I gave you guys the initial tour of my apartment, there was a list of things that I was looking for. A small farm style country table for a breakfast nook. Uh, I wanted some like coastal vintage bar stools and I wanted some pieces to kind of finish off my bedroom. I wanted like new bedding for my bed. I wanted a reading chair for my bedroom. And so I, the last few weeks have traveled all around Orange County and LA County finding specific pieces. I still have several things on my list to get, but I can't wait to show you all the things that um, I have found. So a place that I love um, to go and just spend hours in and look for pieces like select pieces is a place called Granny's Attic. This is located in Temecula, which is a it used to be only about 30 minutes for me, but now that I live on the other side of the mountain, it's a good solid hour. So it's definitely a good Saturday trip. And that's what I did yesterday, Saturday morning. I woke up, I drove to Temecula, I ate at my favorite breakfast cafe, which I've shared with you guys before. It's called Swingin' Cafe. I have fallen in love with Benedict's. I never had eaten them before I moved out here. Usually eggs gross me out. But I tried a Benedict at this place last year and fell in love with it and now it's one of my favorite things to order. So uh, ironically, they have what's called the Texas Benny and that's what I get every time I go. right in the heart of Old Town Temecula, which just has so much history. The little shops are so adorable and they do a really good job of when they build a new shop, they make it look old. So it kind of has like an old frontier vibe, even though the buildings um, are somewhat new. Some of them really are old, but some of them are new. And so the whole downtown strip has uh, places to eat and places to shop. They have a really cool theater. And it's just one of my favorite local places to go and spend a day. There's so much you can do there. It's where I went hot air ballooning last year. So just a lot to do in Temecula. So I ate breakfast there and then I headed to my favorite antique shop in anywhere in Southern California that I've been to so far and it's called Granny's Attic. And I know I've shared this with you guys on social media, but essentially it's this huge warehouse. I don't know how many square feet it is, but it's massive. And just as far as your eye can see, it's just booth after booth after booth of really cool, vintage, unique pieces from all over. And so I went yesterday and my goal was to find a small farm country table. I wanted something that would ideally fit two, maybe three chairs. 
and fit perfectly underneath my stairs and serve kind of as a breakfast nook. I had a couple of other items on my list that I was looking for, but I really didn't find anything else except for this table. And there's one particular booth that I love. Every time I've gone, this, this vendor always has something that I'm looking for. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna start off by going to this booth and just seeing what they have. So I walk into Granny's Attic, I turn and I head straight to this booth and right front and center at the front of the booth is the most adorable little country table. Not only does it comfortably fit two seats, but it has these wings that can fold up. I'll show you guys in a second. It's like right off camera, but they have wings that can fold up and fit more people. So potentially it can fit four people comfortably on it. But then when it's not in use, you can fold the wings back down and shift it out of the way. So I was looking for the price tag on it because um, it was like back in the back on the back leg down at the bottom. And I was like, oh, please be under budget. I could see this being too expensive. It was $1 under budget. <laughs> so I had brought cash in and I was like, I will not spend more than the cash that I have. So I've got to find something that's under this. And thankfully it was. really good in the space I like that I can fold the sides down and tuck it away when it's not in use and if ever I need more entertainment space I have three card tables that I can pull out and line up and use for like game days or if I'm you know hosting a meal for people um, I have that space to set up card tables so this is more of like a little breakfast nook when it's just me or like a, one other person headed to the beach and went boogie boarding with one of my sweet friends Melissa we watched the sunset caught up on life and just kind of talked about what the Lord is doing in both of our lives and in our hearts and it was just man time at the beach is always healing I absolutely love it the water is still warm usually stays warm through October so I know we're we're at the tail end of summer and soon the water will be so cold that I do not like to go in it so we just enjoyed that time together. I went to my favorite donut shop. It's right off of the Newport Pier, uh, Newport Pier at Balboa Peninsula, which is where I like to go boogie boarding. And it is just, I, I usually don't like donuts. I'm just not a sweets person. I'll have milkshakes and occasional cookie. Sometimes I'll have like homemade cake, but other than that, I just don't eat sweets. I don't eat candy. I don't keep sweets in my home. So, uh, I, I went to this donut shop and when I say they have the best donuts, they have the best donuts. I love their simple glazed donut. It is so good and the shop is so cute. And um, so we finished off our night um, at the donut shop. Saturday and then this morning uh, it's Sunday now as I'm making this video so this morning I um, attended where I plan to uh, 
call my church home. Now that I'm on this side of the mountain and priorities have shifted and, and the vision God has put on my heart out here has shifted, um, I will be calling a new church my home. And so I went there today and it was just one of those life altering experiences. And if I could sum up this church family in one word, it would be radical. Their um, love for the lost and the hurting and the oppressed is like nothing I've experienced. And they just have such a welcoming, inclusive invitation for everyone from Hollywood celebrities to people off the streets. No matter your background, no matter what baggage you're bringing in, no matter what you're coming from, um, they have a welcome invitation to experience God's love, but also to experience the holiness of God. And so it was just such a joy, so emotional. I started off with full makeup today and literally cried it all off. <laughs> and it was just such a joy to find a church home out here um, that really represents uh, God's heart and the, the mission that he has called us to here in Southern California. So now I'm home from that. That lasted half the day. Now I'm home and I am working on a project that I'm really excited for. I started it yesterday. Thought I was gonna be able to finish in one day, but it turns out it's gonna take like a week. So I had, had uh, wanted some coastal bar stools that tuck underneath this bar that I'm sitting at right here. I just grew up, we had a bar in our kitchen with bar stools, and I just have vivid memories as a kid of pulling the bar stool out, climbing up, eating my cereal, tucking the bar stool back under, and going on my way. And it, it's so simple, but that is such a nostalgic piece of my childhood. So when I saw that this apartment had a bar instantly, I was like, alright, I gotta find some cool vintage bar stools to go under there. Um, and I did. I found some online. They should have been hundreds of dollars because they're truly vintage. I don't know how old they are, but as I'm working with them, I'm realizing they are very, very old. <laughs> and I found them for next to nothing on OfferUp, an app I love to use out here to buy and sell um, things, furniture, vintage stuff. So I picked those up last week and my goal this weekend and into this week is recovering the tops because they are so gross and so old. But enough of me talking. I want to give you all an updated tour of some of the changes. Please keep in mind, Sundays are my cleaning days. I have not done that yet because I literally just got home and changed like 15 minutes ago. So there's stuff scattered everywhere. I have multiple projects going on. I have not cleaned. My bed's not made. There's stuff on the floor. Bear with me all, but here are the updates that I have made since my last video. My table is still for sale. This chair is still for sale. So imagine all of this space open and changed, but these are the bar stools that I found online. They're so cute. I have four of them. One of them is over in my living room because I'm recovering it. So this is the new material that I got. It's so cute. It's like a linen type material, really sturdy. And then here's the old, like look how gross those are. They're just stained, so old, coming apart. So um, yeah, I think it's gonna be really cute to have this whole space open and just have the coastal bar stools. So then turn around. And this is the cute little farm table I found. This chair will not stay there. That will not stay there. Myla's bed will not stay there. And that art, I don't know where I'm going to put it yet. But the, each side of the table has these little leaves that pop up. And so I'm hoping to find two really cute chairs to go on either side of it. And um, decorate the wall, decorate my table, and just make it a little breakfast nook. The only thing I'm not sure about is... I don't really like the paint job. They just kind of slap the paint over it. It looks distressed, which is cute, but part of me wants to sand it down to the natural color. I don't know yet. That's gonna be a lot of work. 
And I mean, it does look cute as is. I just kind of want to sand it down. So here's the major change. Um, well, I got this really cute, as you remember, I used to have a gold stand here. It just didn't flow with the coastal vibe. So I got rid of that. I have the new stand with cute little coastal things. And the biggest change is I rearranged my whole living room. So if you recall, this couch was like that. And then these two chairs were right here. But I felt like that just blocked everything. And I also didn't like how the couch was this way and it just made it hard to watch TV. Whereas now it's easier to watch TV when I have people over to watch movies. And these chairs are on rollers, so it's easy to just like shift it to the TV if needed. But I feel like this opens up more space to go outside the porch patio, but also it leaves plenty of space, like a walkway. I can use the fireplace if needed. And then I have my game uh, cabinet over there still. So I think that I'm gonna love this, especially when I open this space up. I just think it flows a lot better and makes more sense with how I want to entertain. So I rearranged it. I'm gonna leave it here for a couple of weeks to see if I truly like it better or else I'll just rearrange it back to how it was. But um, this lamp is still for sale. So it kind of just gives you a picture of what I'm going for. Now to take you upstairs to see the changes. Now remember, it is not done. So don't judge my messy room. It is so messy right now. Still have a box. But I found this really cute cabinet. I think you've already seen it. Found that stand. I think you've already seen it. I'm gonna put a mirror above that stand. I found really cute bedding. One side is the blue pinstripe. And then the other side is like a wider stripe. And it perfectly matches my new reading chair, that blue reading chair. So I really, really like that chair. I've already used it every single night. And then I found this cute little desk. So I still need a chair to go with this one. So yeah, that's my changes. Here's kind of an overview of the loft area. I just feel like it works better. So part of the struggle with these stools like I said, some of the screw heads are totally stripped out and it's just so hard and time consuming to um, get them out. And so I'm using needle nose pliers and a screwdriver and it is just a lot of work. The other thing that's hard is getting every single individual staple out because uh, some of them are rusted and just so old. But then the hardest part is once I have recovered it, lining up the screws with the holes and screwing them back in, it's just, it's very tedious, but it will be worth it. I can't wait to see the finished product. Um, so I'll make sure and put some before and after pictures on my Instagram for those who follow me on there. And I'll probably do a full blog post with before and after pictures of my apartment as well. I still have a few months to go before I'm able to finish all the things I want to do um, to just kind of top everything off. Um, but slowly, each week, each month, I am knocking off some of my to-do list and I'm that much closer to calling this place my home. two out of four stools and we have a dilemma I love the striped fabric however it is so stinking difficult 
to have all the stripes facing the same way. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, see how these stripes are going that way and these stripes are going this way. I thought I lined everything up appropriately, but the hard part is underneath here are pre, um, pre-made holes for the screws and those have to line up, meaning I can't just turn this whichever way I want whenever I'm reattaching it. And I thought I did the lines in a way they would go this way, but clearly I didn't. Some people may not be bothered by this, but y'all, this is gonna drive me crazy. And so now I have to make a decision of like, should I go back to Hobby Lobby and just get, get plain material so that it doesn't matter which way the stripes face? And if that's the answer I choose, that means I have to redo these two stools that I did. <laughs> which is so time consuming. The other option is do my best to line up the other two stools to where three of them match and then I only have to do redo one stool. That might be the better option, but it's so difficult to get it to get it lined up. I'm going to have to be a little more strategic. So stay tuned. I'll have to make another video soon, probably next week, or maybe I'll post it in my Instagram stories and let y'all know how this turned out. So stay tuned. I love you, my little locals.